Okay, looks like we found skills in with the Johto Beasts. Uh, getting ready to do our battle here. Uh, go ahead and decide myself. And we're going to go with the single battle normal rules. All right. Excited to get into this uh, and see what we can do. Uh, we did end up having to pick our team from uh, the scraps. We replaced a team, which means 15 other teams chose all of their Pokemon before we did. Uh, so we're just going to see what we can do. Uh, I did get a couple faves, so I feel pretty decent here. Um, he brought a couple Pokemon that I wasn't anticipating. He didn't bring Cloyster, and I was expecting he might lead with Cloyster. Um, he also didn't bring Venusaur, so very interesting. Uh, definitely going to be a different style of battle than I prepped for. Um, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and we're still going to lead with Raichu um, and see what we can do here uh, with that. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to lead with Crocodile. Uh, last second change of plans. Um, that always works out well, right? Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Um, this is not the team I prepped for. I didn't prep for most of this team, actually. So, uh, fun. Let's just uh, see what we can do. We're going to have to kind of respond on the fly um, and just do our best. Okay. Here we go. Leading with Claydol. Okay, not ideal. Uh, but, uh, but it'll be okay. Uh, Intimidate's not going to do anything. I doubt he's a physical attacking Claydol. Um, but we are going to go ahead and go for the beat up. I should outspeed. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, I can do a good amount of damage here and hopefully make him flinch. That would be great. Uh, if we can make him flinch, he'll either have to switch out or his Claydol is going to die next turn. So, Doing great damage here. Six times. And it flinched. We're good. Um, he's got the leftovers on that. That's, that's going to be a wash. It doesn't matter. He's going to have to change now. If he was relying on his clay doll to set up his whole strategy, he's going to have to pull it out and save it for later. Beat up is still going to do good damage against most of his mons, um, so I'm not too worried here. Just in case, we're going to do a knockoff. It should be enough to kill clay doll, um, and if he switches out, whatever comes in is not going to have their item. So. All right, and we are doing good so far. Uh, Clayed all down. Crocodile gets a kill. This probably brings out Blastoise if I had to guess, um, which is fine. Um, we will just adapt to that as well and do what we can. Guzzlord, interesting, uh, very powerful, uh, slow, uh, but definitely good. I did bring Brick Break specifically for Guzzlord. I'm a little nervous about whether or not I'll be able to kill it in one hit. I highly doubt that. Uh, it does have some low defenses. <sighs> I don't want to let him get, uh, get set up with that ability though. Beast boost. I uh, also don't want to use all of my uh, Dynamax right out of the gate if I can help it. Um, Halucha would be a good switch in against it uh, if he does take out my Crocodile. So I think what we'll do is we'll just we'll go for the Brick Break and we'll hope for the best. 
decent damage. It's got a lot of HP. Um, Drain Punch, that's its killer. It's going to kill me. Um, so that's rough uh, for sure. Uh, he's going to get all that HP back. Um, my Crocodile's done for, which is okay. Um, he took out, uh, I think, his setup on. So um, kind of anticipated being able to take that down, uh, which is nice. Um, so let's go ahead with Halucha. Um, it's very doubtful he's going to outspeed me. Um, should be same type attack bonus. Uh, and the just overall going to be good. If he, if he hits me, it's probably going to kill me. I don't have much as, in terms of defenses. It's my first time using Halucha uh, in, a, in a competitive battle as well. So um, I will definitely be learning a lot of the team that I have. But that's okay. We'll, we'll do our best. He might switch, um, so we'll see, I guess. I forgot to record what his entire team was at the beginning, uh, so just trying to work on memory here. I know he's got Claydol, Blastoise, Guzzlord, uh, he's going to have Manectric, which he might switch in, but um, that'd be okay. I should outspeed it um, even next turn. Yeah, that's, and that's okay. Um, if this doesn't kill it, I should honestly be able to kill it next turn. So he's got one. Now here's the thing, buddy. I am unburdened, so now my speed is going to double. Um, so let's go ahead and... Let's do acrobatics in case he switches. Really hope he doesn't somehow... He might be choice scarfed and he might outspeed me. That would be rough. Um, but all we have to do is take out one HP. If we can do that, that'd be great. Awesome, awesome. It's good news for us. Um, so Manectric down. Um, I've got a lot of electric weaknesses on my team in general, so um, great to take that down. I do now have my speed boost. Acrobatics is going to be uh, double damage as well. Let's see what he brings in now. Maybe Blastoise just for the, the beef of it. Uh, Lopany, interesting, very interesting. Uh, he might be going for like a fake out. I, I assume Lopany can can learn fake out i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna anticipate the fake out we're gonna go for a max knuckle it's gonna power up my my strength um it should be enough to kill it he he won't be able to make me flinch and even if he switches out this should deal decent damage to anything else um he brings in so uh, let's go ahead and just do that why not got like no defense um, so even even being dynamaxed um, this could still be you know, potentially rough um, looks like I outspeed so he didn't go for the fake out um, one hit kill okay I will take that uh, not sure what his plan was with Lopany with it being normal type um, that's okay at this point it doesn't matter so far, so good. Um, we've only lost one Mon, but things can change in the in the last half. He's got Guzzlord, it's got a ton of HP. Blastoise is, is beefy as well. Um, and his last Pokemon, uh, which I've forgotten what it is, so could be an unpleasant surprise. Blastoise, that's okay. Um, so I think he'll probably Dynamax it. I brought... Uh, I brought Grass Knot just for Blastoise mainly. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do that um, and see what we can do for damage. I would imagine. Yep, there it is. 
uh, and that's okay. Uh, hopefully I can eat one attack uh, and survive uh, as many turns of, of Dynamax Blastoise as, as possible. That would be great. Um, that way, whatever I'm sending out after this, uh, I didn't bring I didn't bring protect on anyone, so uh, I'm gonna be at Blastoise's mercy here uh, shortly. Not a ton of damage. I don't like that. Um, it's okay though. That was even a critical hit, so that's rough. I do have Raichu. I can send out um, after this. I should outspeed him. Um, okay, survive the hit. That's good. Um, I should be able to kill Blastoise after I do one more Grass Knot and then uh, Raichu, um, theoretically. All right, and the uh, it's on honestly kind of nice because the hail is gonna um, cancel out the grassy terrain. Um, let's go ahead and just. We'll go for the max overgrowth again. I mean, if he wants to waste his Dynamax and switch out, that's fine. It seems a little silly. Um, good. We might not be able to take the Blastoise down in one hit with Raichu. Um, but what's nice is we've, we've eaten up a couple rounds of... Oh, Halu just survived. That is phenomenal. Um, my Grass Knot is not going to work on him um, now that he's uh, Dynamaxed, so uh, what I can do is I can anticipate... Oh, see. Oh, I survived. I see. I thought he used Max Hailstorm, um, but he didn't. Um, he's trying to set up so he's going to have some more damage with the rain. So let's look at our Pokemon. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I do have a couple Water Absorbers that I didn't bring, so... Uh, instead, um, don't really need Rain Dance. Uh, I could send out Drapion. It's going to eat the one attack, uh, unless he goes with like Max Hailstorm again for some reason, which would be silly. Um, and then I'll have one HP left. I should be able to outspeed him. Um, and then next turn, I can I can knock knock off him. Uh, the Drapion might die, but uh, it's a sacrifice I'm going to have to be willing to make. The Halucha, I could just eat it with Halucha right now. Um, if I'm planning on Drapion dying anyway. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just do as much damage as we can. Uh, probably should have done acrobatics, but that's okay. Um, looks like it uh, worked out well. So we'll take it. Uh, Blastoise is down. And Halucha gets a kill. Good stuff, good stuff. I've not been recording the kills. Uh, oops. That's okay, we can rewatch this. Um, let's see what he has to bring out now. Hitmonchan. Now, I've got really low HP. Um, Hitmonchan does have a couple priority moves. Um, I could switch and just hope that Hitmonchan is not gonna be able to hose me here. Uh, let's real quick, since we have just a small amount of time, I want to take a look at Hitmonchan's abilities. He does not have Scrappy. I wasn't sure about that. So what we can do is we can switch in Double Blade. Do I want to do that? Yeah, let's go ahead and switch in Dublade. Um, hopefully we can eat attack. He might he might do like bullet punch, which is steel. Uh, either way, I'm going to have some high defense. He may go for a fire punch, but the rain is going to soften that, which is nice. Um, fake out's not going to work on me, which is super nice. Um, he could switch right now, but... Uh, it might be a little silly to do, because um, he's going to have to switch into Guzzlord, uh, which is going to have a lot of HP, but crappy defense is not a good switch in. So my guess is he's going to stick with Hitmonchan. Um, he might go for, you know, kind of an, an elemental punch or something, uh, but I think we should be able to do pretty decent against him. We're going to go with Iron Head and try to get just as much damage as we can. See, it's Fire Punch is fine. Uh, he... 
he honestly weakened it himself with his rain, so totally okay. We're going to try to eat as many of those fire punches as possible before having to switch. Alright, and the grass is gone. That's good. Um, honestly, I would rather it just be gone. Uh, go with the iron head again. This late in the game, I was going to say, I think it'd be weird if he switched, um, but he did, so uh, that's okay. Maybe he's got a better move to use against me. Obviously, being dark type is going to have um, high, high damage. Um, and now the rain's gone, so if he wants to switch back in later, um, hopefully, hopefully I can weather an attack from Guzzlord. It's lost its buffs. Um, let's go ahead and I, I did bring Sacred Sword just for Guzzlord instead of Brick Break in case he put up barriers. So let's try to survive a hit. We'll see what happens. Ooh, knockoff's rough. Yep, yep. And that's okay. We survived it. Uh, honestly, really cool. Um, feel pretty good about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I should be able to finish him off with the Shadow Sneak. I would be surprised if I don't. Uh, doing good, awesome. So, Guzzlord down, Double Blade gets a kill, and he's got to bring in that Hitmonchan again. We know he's probably going to use Fire Punch. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the Arcanine that we specifically brought um, to eat up fire attacks uh, with. Uh, with flash fire. Um, that's good. That's what we planned on. We know another attack of his um, is um, fake out. So that's two moves he can't use on Hitmonchan, or excuse me, on, on Arcanine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're powered up to use a fire move. We're going to go ahead and see if we can take him out. He might outspeed me. He didn't. Good. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Close combat's rough. Um, I survived it. Uh, again, I should theoretically outspeed him unless he's got a different priority move uh, that would deal enough damage uh, to take me out. But uh, I think that we should be able to finish him off with another flamethrower. Mock punch, yep, okay. That was a good call, good call. Uh, good call on my opponent's part, uh, bringing the mock punch. Um, so... We basically, we know that Drapion can survive a hit. Um, because of the Focus Sash, uh, we're going to go ahead and just go for a knockoff. It's not very much damage, um, but uh, hopefully we should be able to get to uh, at least, the, you know, the item will be gone. Um, and it looks like it was enough. Uh, good job, Drapion there. Uh, with the kill on Hitmonchan. So overall, um, good first battle. Uh, kind of had to adapt uh, in the end there uh, since I didn't know what he ended up bringing. I uh, didn't expect it. So uh, we're going to get his league card. Um, yeah, so good first uh, battle for, for my personal season. Um, good good battle skills in uh i am looking forward to next week's battle uh we might do some fine tuning with the team um but overall feeling pretty good with it uh practice a little bit with some of the mods we're not used to and uh see if we can keep the uh, win streak rolling all right thanks for uh tuning in